Those involved in the underground realm of the John Wick franchise pledge loyalty to the High Table, a governing council that holds power over the criminal underworld in the series. The introduction of the High Table in John Wick Chapter 2 aimed to provide an explanation for why law enforcement would turn a blind eye to the numerous casualties. Little information is available regarding the High Table, it remains unmentioned in the first film, and its development is limited to Santino D'Antonio's pursuit of a seat in the second movie. Despite the scarcity of details, there are still crucial tidbits that shed light on the immense power held by the organization's members. Bearing this in mind, let us delve into the undisclosed realities of the High Table. Number 1. 12 Families, 12 Seats The High Table comprises the heads of 12 prominent crime syndicates, referred to as families within the John Wick universe. Each syndicate is granted a single seat at the table, typically occupied by its leader. So far, the only family with a visible presence on screen is the D'Antonio family in John Wick Chapter 2. The identities of the remaining 11 members of the high table remain a mystery, although fans speculate that some seats may be held by real-world underworld organizations like the Yakuza, Triads, or the Russian Mafia. While these organizations do make appearances in the franchise, it is uncertain if any of their members actually occupy seats at the table. Those involved in the underworld of the John Wick franchise pledge loyalty to the High Table, a council that acts as the governing body of the criminal world in the series. Number 2. Above the High Table, there exists an individual whose authority surpasses even that of the ruling body. Referred to as the Elder, this enigmatic figure is said to reside in the Moroccan desert. While the High Table operates independently, the Elder possesses knowledge of world affairs, as evidenced by his awareness of John Wick's predicament when they meet in the third chapter of the series. In John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum, the Elder offers to override the High Table's orders of excommunication and the bounty on Wick's head, on one condition, Wick must eliminate Winston, his longtime ally and the owner of the New York Continental Hotel. The Adjudicator, the High Table's chief enforcer, is informed of the Elder's arrangement and dispatched to the Continental to witness the act. This maneuver highlights the Elder's immense power and commands both deference and respect from the High Table. While the High Table clearly holds significant influence, the role of the Elder underscores that even its ability to enforce order has its limits. Number 3. The pursuit of power within the High Table follows the age-old adage, blood will kill blood for a seat. As the saying goes, one should be cautious of their desires, for the burden of leadership carries great weight. This truth is evident in the struggles for power within the High Table, where obtaining a seat brings immense power and prestige, but also carries a significant downside even one's own siblings are willing to eliminate each other to claim it. When the leader of the Camorra Crime Syndicate, which is controlled by the D'Antonio family, passes away, he designates his daughter Gianna as his successor in both leading the Camorra and securing a seat at the high table. This decision leaves Gianna's brother Santino feeling resentful and overlooked. Driven by his hunger for power, Santino manipulates John Wick using a marker, compelling him to assassinate Gianna. After Wick fulfills the task by eliminating the Camorra leader, Santino dispatches his men to silence Wick. Santino places a $7 million bounty on Wick's head to ensure that his involvement in his sister's death remains concealed. Although Santino's power grab ultimately meets its end when Wick kills him within the confines of the Continental. Number 4. Not everyone within the Underworld willingly submits to the authority of the High Table. Despite the High Table's extensive reach and control over the criminal world, self-interest plays a significant role in shaping individuals' actions within this realm. There are notable criminals who possess enough power to openly resist the Table's dominance. A prime example of such defiance is embodied by the Bowery King. As the leader of the Soup Kitchen, an intelligence network for assassins, the Bowery King assists Wick by providing him with a firearm and ammunition while he is pursued by Santino D'Antonio. Following Santino's demise at Wick's hands, the High Table decides to punish the Bowery King for his involvement in the incident. The Adjudicator is dispatched to administer his punishment, subjecting him to endure seven cuts as a form of penance. Left severely wounded, the Bowery King finds himself near death. It is at this critical moment that Wick, also facing his own dire circumstances, is rescued by one of the Bowery King's associates. 
The Bowery King reveals his rebellion against the High Table, openly defying their authority. Number 5. The High Table, serving as the governing council of the criminal underworld, naturally possesses access to top-of-the-line weaponry, complemented by a formidable army of mercenaries. These enforcers, equipped with advanced gear and bulletproof armor, exemplify the extent of the High Table's power. During the assault on the Continental, the High Table troops effortlessly breached the hotel's defenses. The average assassin stands little chance against the elite soldiers of the High Table, and it is only through John Wick's extraordinary skills and armor-piercing ammunition that they are prevented from seizing control of the hotel. The threat of further aggression from the High Table's troops weighs heavily on Winston's mind, as evident when he seemingly betrays Wick by shooting him off the roof of the Continental near the end of Chapter 3. With their overwhelming numbers and superior equipment, the High Table enforces its will upon all those who dare to defy it, at least for the time being. Number 6. The Adjudicator holds an unparalleled position within the High Table's hierarchy as their chief enforcer. This title grants them the authority to pass judgment on anyone who defies the organization, including members of the High Table itself. Consequently, it can be argued that, aside from the Elder, the Adjudicator is the most influential individual in the political system of the Underworld. In John Wick Chapter 3 the Parabellum, the Adjudicator exercises their power by leveraging Zero's assassins to carry out punishments against those who aided Wick in his escape from New York. The Adjudicator's influence is further demonstrated during the Battle for the Continental, where they deconsecrate the hotel, effectively allowing bloodshed within its premises. Following the conflict, they make the decision to spare Winston's life and restore the Continental's sanctity, highlighting their significant decision-making authority as delegated by the High Table. With far-reaching powers and the unwavering support of the High Table, the Adjudicator is an individual not to be trifled with within the underworld of the John Wick universe, whether in political or combat situations. Their presence commands respect and serves as a potent deterrent to any who would challenge their authority. Number 7. The power and influence wielded by the High Table command immense respect and instill fear within the underworld. This sentiment extends to nearly everyone involved in the criminal realm, including John Wick himself. When Wick encounters the Elder, he is presented with an opportunity to absolve his transgressions against the Table by assassinating Winston. Wick seriously considers this proposition, as evidenced by Winston's subsequent need to convince him against it, urging him instead to join the fight against the Table. Winston chooses to present his rebellion as a show of strength to the Adjudicator. In a surprising turn of events, the Adjudicator allows Winston to maintain his position of power under the table. Wick's initial inclination to kill Winston, and Winston's subsequent apparent betrayal of Wick, highlight the undeniable respect even the most feared individuals within the underworld hold for the power and authority of the High Table. 